Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back, or welcome if you are new. It is grocery day. I used to love grocery shopping. I used to love looking through the house, getting everything ready, and then going to the grocery. I just don't anymore. I just don't, and it's probably because of inflation. <laughs> I would say it's definitely because of inflation because you could literally breathe in the store and it's like 50 bucks. Uh, but we didn't go to the grocery last week, so we have got to get quite a few things. Plus, I need to get a few things for um, a little birthday get together. So that's a little extra as well. But yeah, I got to go to Ruler Foods and also need to go to Walmart. So come hang out with me. And let's get this over with. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me when I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's fine. Okay, that place was a madhouse. It was so bad. I did not, I did not film in there. I shared like one clip of my cart because it was so busy. People were everywhere. There was people like waiting in the little lobby area just for carts because there was no carts anywhere. And I also compared prices to Walmart. Even if like one of the good ways to save money is even though something is on sale at one store, compare the price and make sure you're still getting a good price because it might be on sale at this store but you still could probably get it cheaper at the other store with it not being on sale like for me for me it's you know normally I go to ruler foods first because that's a more reasonable price place depending on what I'm buying and then I go to Walmart after so there will still be things that I will make sure to price match because just because it's on sale at Ruler Foods, it might not necessarily be the cheapest price just because it's on sale. So <laughs> make sure you check around. I always have the Walmart up and I, you know, price match because that's a good way to save you some extra money right now. The eggs in my area, well, I won't say in my area, the eggs at Ruler Foods are still going strong at $1.99 a pack. They have officially put a limit on it, which I figured it was coming. Um, they have a limit for three. So I only bought two because I just got a bunch. Um, we have been going through the eggs like crazy with Luke, you know, Luke's breakfast sandwiches. Winston has decided that he likes eggs and he has been eating he has been eating eggs non-stop, you guys. Like, and it's so good because that's such a good source of protein for him. And if y'all know, he's super picky. He's the same texture issues like I do. And, uh, you know, of course we try to get him to eat things, but he has started loving eggs. I actually had him try some hard boiled eggs the other day and he liked them. So I'm so proud of him. <laughs> but between him and him, we've just been going through a lot of eggs so I try to keep those stocked and I try to go to Ruler Foods because they're still $1.99 and I think at Walmart they're five or so dollars we'll see when we go in here how much they are because I haven't looked in so long because I knew that you know you can't beat $1.99 you know for eggs so yeah we're heading heading to Walmart you 
Okay, Walmart wasn't too bad. I didn't need a bunch of extra stuff because I got most of it at Ruler Foods, so. But I just heard all my groceries like go to the door of the trunk and I'm sitting there thinking, how am I gonna open that without it all falling out? And I know it's going to, so this is gonna be fun. <laughs> but let's get everything set up on the table. I'll tell you how much is spent at each store and then I'll show you what I got. It wasn't too bad. I got everything set up on the table. Let's go over the meal plan and then we'll talk about how much I spent. So we have got nachos on the menu. Winston has asked for those. He loves nachos or tacos. And we just had a taco style recently. So we're gonna do nachos this time. I'm gonna do my baked cracked chicken. I will have that recipe linked down below. It is so good. And we have not had it in a while. So I wanted to go ahead and do that. And then I found a recipe, a new recipe, I'll have it linked down below, for a crock pot Cajun um, like chicken and sausage Alfredo. That sounds really good. The last time I did Alfredo in the crock pot, it was so good. So I thought I would change it up and do this Cajun style that I found. And then we're going to do a hamburger, potato, and cabbage soup. Also a new recipe. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. It looked so good. Now the recipe that will be linked, they use, um, I believe smoked sausage, but we're gonna do smoked sausage with the Cajun Alfredo. So I'm just gonna do ground hamburger meat and I think it will still be really good and have really good flavor. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna change it up a little bit. And then the boys have asked for cheeseburger sliders. I've made them like maybe two or three weeks ago, and they were so good. They asked for them again. So I'm actually gonna do those with like a couple other appetizers and do like an appetizer night um, because that just sounds good. We're gonna do some kind of a dip, have the cheeseburger sliders, and then probably something else. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> but that's the game plan that I have for the meals. Of course, it's not a full week, but we have enough food here. I can figure out something. Um, so at Ruler Foods, I spent $70.59. And then at Walmart, I spent $68.72. So in total, that is $139.31. So let me get you turned around and I'll share everything that I got. Here is everything. We have got Walmart on this side and Ruler Foods on this side. I got two packs of the um, ground beef. This was on sale for eight something. I don't remember the full price. Eight something for the three pounds. It was on sale. Right now, that is a good deal. Of course, it's not the best deal that I've been able to find. I've been able to find it for about $1.99 a pound. But, um, you know, still a pretty good deal. And I wanted to get some extra put back in the freezer. It seems like we've been going through a lot more ground beef than any other proteins so I wanted to kind of get some extra on that um, the bacon was on sale for $2.79 I believe so I picked up two packs of those not my favorite but it will do so those will go in the freezer and then I got Italian style Italian style Parmesan sharp cheddar cheddar jack and pepper jack the pepper jack is slices I got some hot fudge, got two cans of evaporated milk to restock the prepper pantry, got some chocolate pudding mix, got two things of my eggs, I got one pack of salted and unsalted butter, got some more sour cream, I had a coupon for this that made this, I think it was $1.49, pretty sure it was $1.49. Um, we aren't going to be going to Sam's Club for a little bit, so I went ahead and just picked up some cheese slices 
But if you've been around here a while, you know that Sam's Club, um, we have been buying the cheese slices from there forever. And we normally go through it quicker in the colder season because, you know, we do like grilled cheese and soup. Um, but it, we're not, we don't have time to go to Sam's Club right now. So I went ahead and just bought those for now. I got three packs of the Hawaiian Sweet Rolls. These are really good. And y'all, these were $1.99 compared to like the name brand, the, you know, King Hawaiian. Like those were outrageous like five or so dollars a pack. So $1.99, I definitely got, we might not go through, I know for sure we'll use two of them. Um, the other one I might just put in the freezer. I got two things of frozen corn, Brussels sprouts, broccoli florets, um, some carrots, and then I ended up just getting the um, snack medley to throw in to Luke's um, lunches for next week a couple of them save me some time in the mornings <laughs> and then for Walmart didn't need too much I picked up Luke some of the L8 got a gallon of milk or half a gallon of milk two half gallons of almond milk got two things of heavy cream um, I finally found the Friends um, Hazelnut Mocha Coffee Creamer. Kat and Sammy and I had all been talking about it, and I was like, I wonder if Luke would like that. So they suggested it, so we're going to give it a try and see if Luke likes it. This is the one that is, like, inspired by Friends. They do have a zero sugar one if you need zero sugar, um, but, of course, we don't, so I just went ahead and got the regular. I got some Andy's mint. I've got a cake that I need to make, and it's a chocolate mint. You guys should see that sometime. I do plan on filming it. So I got the Andy's mints for that, and then I also got some mint extract. I found this on sale, the sugar cookie sleigh ride. This is so good, and I actually forgot about it. Um, I didn't even think to look, look for it when it was Christmas season, but luckily I found one on Markdown. Um, so I'm glad, because that is so good, so good. <laughs> I got Winston a few Lunchables. I got him chicken nuggets, bologna, and a pizza for a fun little treat. Got some Velveeta cheese, stock, cheese sauce to restock in the prepper pantry. Also got a twin pack of cream cheese, ham and cheese loaf for some lunch meat this week. We already have bologna in the freezer, so I'm just going to pull the bologna out. And we also have a couple other kinds of lunch meat in the freezer as well. So if we need more, I can thaw it out. Some cabbage, bananas. Also got some crackers. I got two different kinds, the regular and the multigrain. And then of course, for my father-in-law, his drinks, uh, caffeine free, diet Sam's Cola, the diet Mountain Thunder, Mountain Thunder, Mountain Lightning. <laughs> And the Dr. Um, Thunder. I got them two switched or combined. <laughs> and then to restock my tomato products in the prepper pantry, I got two diced tomatoes with onion, celery, and green pepper. And then I got two just plain with tomato juice. And then two of the fire roasted. The fire roasted are my favorite. Um, but I got those to put back in the prepper pantry. But that's it all we got today not too too bad you know prices just are crazy and everybody knows that if you're out shopping in any store in your area you know you know how bad how bad it is but that's why you stock up when you can and buy stuff on sale and you know start you a little stockpile to help you out but that's everything let's go ahead and get this put away It's the fire in the rain It's the smile within the pain It's the logic but insane You cannot know from where it came It's the way you cross the floor Before you head on out the door the figure on the wall So many times I heed the call It's the silence of the room The 
way you turn before you bloom Another shadow for the blind Think I'm gonna lose my mind Although I'm running up the hill I feel I'm always standing still Can't remember where I've been I don't know where I should be Crowded planet full of fear It's not the way it's meant to be We should be happy living free Although I'm running up a hill I feel I'm always standing still mm, Can't remember I don't know where I should begin 